You driving? Some plan Bs are smarter than others. If you're drinking, don't drive. RBT means you need a plan B. Authorised by New South Wales Government, Sydney. So Nath, you, you grew up as a young boy in Young. You made the move to Canberra and then Adelaide. And now you're back in New South Wales colours. How does it feel? It feels great, Ron. Um, I really saw the light and uh, seeing you move from uh, ACT down to Victoria then made the move up to New South Wales and I saw, saw that you've uh, joined the squad so that really made me want to get out of Adelaide and uh, get into the New South Wales squad. Yeah, it's great to be alongside you again after our mighty days at West UC a few years ago back in Canberra. So Canberra's a city of roundabouts, Young's the city of cherries, Adelaide's the city of churches. What do you think is going to be the standout feature of Sydney for you? Oh, I've got no idea, to be honest. Uh, the Harbour Bridge is going to spring to mind, I guess. But um, no, it's a, it looks like it's been a great. It's going to be a great place to live. I'm really enjoying my time up there, and uh, can't wait to get stuck in the training next week. And uh, really look forward to a massive season, so we can win a couple of titles. Yeah, sounds good. And you're recently back from the Ashes. I guess it uh, was a disappointing series, and you went through a few trials yourself after not playing the first two games. What were the ups and downs like for you? Oh yeah, I was disappointed, I guess, uh, with everything, with the result, firstly, but uh, to be left out of the squad for the first two games was uh, disappointing, but uh, really put everything in perspective and made me train harder and uh, really want that spot back. So I was fortunate enough to play uh, three, the last three tests and uh, unfortunately it didn't go our way for Australia, but uh, I'm pretty confident in the back-to-back -back ashes here in Australia that uh, we've got England's measure and that we can uh, bring the ashes home. Was it a, a different feeling psychologically after having been in the team for a couple of years and then dropping out for two tests, coming back in, had, were you more nervous than usual? Um, yeah, especially for the, my first Ashes test, it felt like my debut again and uh, I didn't really know what to expect. I was uh, nervous, sweaty palms, a whole lot, so um, I was lucky enough to have Brad Haddon behind the stumps there and he just said, just bowl, you've, you, know, you know what to do. So I was uh, lucky enough to get there and get in amongst the action and uh, try, and, try and bowl well for Australia. And uh, you're back in Canberra for a couple of days at the moment. Um, you've just done a leadership talk at Maruchi College to a group of 30 senior girls. What were uh, one or two of the tips on leadership that Nathan Lyon could share? Uh, dream big, I guess. Uh, I was lucky enough to do that chat with you, which you, uh, you led pretty well. But uh, yeah, dream big, set your goals high and uh, don't leave any stone unturned, I guess. So that was uh, one of the bigger me messages. I believe um, reach for the sky and when you get there it's time to party in the clouds was a direct quote. Uh, yeah, exactly. It'll be a big party when you get your goal. <laughs> nice work. Good to chat with you. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs>